Hi friends, uh, in this video we will see the genetic algorithm flowchart. So, first, as we have discussed in the previous video, so what is meant by genetic algorithm and we have already discussed the algorithm also. So, first we have to see the initial population. So, let me take the initial population first. So, this is initial population. initial population and after that I need to calculate the fitness calculate the fitness so as we have discussed fitness means it is a fitness function ok uh, initial population means solutions of that function all the solutions of that function and of course we can say variables of the function also maybe if we have one variable for example for example if f of x let me take the example also here if as we have seen f of x is equal to x cube plus 3 for example we have so many of x's in x i can place so many things so this is the initial population so maybe different x's maybe the x may be 1000 x's so it may be x0 to x triple nine for example okay that is the initial population now what we need to do we have ob obtained x zero to x triple nine then i need to find the calculate the fitness so i need to find the fitness of it that means i need to substitute each and every value of x into here that means i need to find f of x naught f of x one f of x two and so on up to f of x triple nine and i need to find the fitness of each and every fitness means that only the value of f of x naught is the fitness of x naught then it will be so on up to f of x triple nine once i found all these things what i need to do i need to select the pairs select the parents so what does it mean selection of parent means selection of parents means identify the best two or three best two or three out of these things based on the fitness value only okay highest fitness value those who have highest fitness value those become the parents for example let me consider f of x2 maybe the parent and f of x uh, 20 okay and similarly uh, f of x uh, 900 maybe these three are having more values so i can say that the parents are x2 x20 and x900 are the parents okay once i identified the parents now what i need to do i need to go ahead with crossover so in this video we will see the crossover and mutation crossover i need to see the crossover first after that i need to go ahead with mutation okay once these steps are over now so crossover mutation and the two different things we need to do i mean we need to proceed with these things maybe first i need to take these two as parents and i like to make it crossover and mutation later i like to take these two as parents and i want to make them as crossover and mutation to get the new solutions or to improve the population so once the population has been improved and i need to see the again i need to see fitness and everything okay then if it is good that is the starting criteria if this is good for example we have done this and we obtained uh, the new solution here if the new solution have very good fitness then we can stop our genetic algorithm here. This is the stopping criteria. Stopping criteria. Stopping criteria. Once this part is over, then we can go back to the fitness here. Okay. So please uh, identify here. I am drawing it. First step is initial population. 
next is a calculation calculate the fitness next select the parents crossover mutation this is the stopping criteria of course this is in numbers yeah this is okay this is in stopping criteria okay okay right like yeah stopping criteria if this is s that is the optimum solution otherwise we need to go back to the previous step so let me have it so it will be like this crossover mutation in this yes if it is yes that is the uh, optimum solution okay let me write here if this is yes then it is the optimum solution if this is not s yes, where i need to go i need to calculate the fitness again yes i need to go here that's all yeah so it has to this is the simple uh, flow chart and let me see so let us discuss a brief thing on crossover and mutation crossover means for example crossover if the first parent is like this 110101 for example and the second parent is 010111 for example okay now if i like to cross over at point 3 so we need to identify the i mean we need to disclose the crossover point also for example my crossover point is crossover point is 4 For example, so yet four, I need to do crossover like this. So what is meant by crossover? This is the first parent. It will be up to here. It will be same. And after that, these things have to come here, and these things have to come here. So what will happen? One will be one will become like this zero one one one, and two will become zero one zero one zero one. so this is called crossover this is called crossover now what we need to do we need to go ahead with this to see the fitness function and we need to go ahead with this to see the fitness function if any of these two are the best then we can stop here only if you don't want to proceed otherwise if you want to proceed into get maybe some more or better results you can go ahead. so this is about crossover simply and mutation is very simple mutation is uh, very simple compared to crossover mutation is very simple mutation means for example if this is the updated uh, crossover point now i want to perform the mutation at point 3 for example at point 3 so what is the third point this is the third point so now this parent will become 11 third point is 0 so what is mutation mutation means if zero is there convert into one if one is there convert into zero so if it zero is there so i need to convert into one 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 so this is the first parent and if you if i want to do the same mutation for the three for second parent also then it will be 011101 simple very simple so this is called crossover and mutation crossover means we need to have crossover that means at certain point we need to divide the parent one and we need to give the other part to the parent two and we need to take the same other part from parent two for parent one okay we will discuss all these things once we have seen the problems okay so this is the simply the flow chart of genetic algorithm okay after that we will see 
one problem so that everything will be clear okay thank you thank you so much